Hey everyone, and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Today, uh, I'm, I haven't been compelled by any particular suggestions, so I don't actually know what character to play. I guess I could play the Huntress. The Huntress is a fun character. I like playing the Huntress. I was thinking about Acrid as well, but I do at least remember playing Acrid more recently than playing the Huntress. So, Huntress it is. And I'm definitely going to be picking up one of those um, bustling fungus. That would be pretty useful. That's also a good start. Alright. Of course, if I stand still for two seconds, I'll start healing at a pretty decent rate that I feel was... It, like, it feels like it was nerfed. Apparently it wasn't. But it definitely feels like you heal less quickly than you used to. Or at least for less, but I'd, I'd, I think it's more that it's less quickly than for less. Alright. Ow. Okay. Let's grab everything, and I guess it's already time we can get the teleporter. It's here, I'm here. I'm not super worried about my monetary losses here, I guess. Don't do that. What kind of scumbag are you? This is actually stupid. That that thing is going to get away. I shot it like... Ugh. And I mean, you saw the shots go directly through it. That's not like me complaining. That's like the game not registering shots for some reason. And it happens with that enemy consistently. It's just that it doesn't make sense. So I just don't know how to deal with it. Because it shouldn't happen. Ah well. I spent 20 on not getting an item that I deserved. I just don't know why I didn't get it. That happens. It's just saddening. Alright. They can all walk. They can't all walk across. Okay. Guess this will make this Colossus fight really easy then. Of course the only um, artifact I have on is Origin, so every 10 minutes a boss and a few enemies will spawn. Which is just like an extra item, but it can be difficult. It can put you into a tricky situation, which is really pretty fun. Alright, uh, that's actually a really nice item for this time. Seriously, and now I can't get the other one because it's just way over freaking in the middle of nowhere. Because I wasn't walking to the right, apparently. I don't understand this game. It's really a big jerk sometimes. <laughs> How did that count as hitting it? That's actually amazing. Okay, this one I can't mess up. Then I get massive freaking leech. Basic attack doesn't feel like working. Who needs it? Like, what's the basic attack anyway? That's better. Increases damage and attack speed for 8 seconds on use. I don't need the healing as much. Uh, crowbar increases my damage on enemies that have um, a certain threshold of health. So it's 50% more damage on enemies with 70% or more health, I believe. I could be wrong though, I think I remember someone telling me I was wrong, but I don't remember what it is. And I could be misremembering, which is why I say I believe. Even if I've been told otherwise, I don't know that I've been told otherwise for sure. So that's that. Play some shrines. I know there's at least one more shrine, yeah. 
Oops, I messed up. Should have gone to the shrine. My bad. Killing that was not as important as spending my money here. Uh, gives me 10 healing a few seconds after getting hit, and um, life savings just increases my money every few seconds. So, five minutes out of the first level. Not bad. Alright, so it's pretty pointless to even check up here for the teleporter, but I'm going to anyway. <clears throat> 85, I certainly can't afford. Five minutes. This is why we check. This is why we check. Alright, the magma worm kind of sucks, but, you know, we'll deal with it. Now. I wish that there weren't, like, billions of Lemurians here. That'd make my life really nice. Like, you don't even know. Okay, time to leave. So now when I fail a shrine, I gain crit chance. Pretty cool. I want to keep killing these dudes mostly. Also work on the magma worm while I'm here. So far, basically, I'm just wasting time. Essentially, because I should be exploring the level. For more, uh, loot and stuff. But I guess I don't have a ton of money, so... It works out. Bitter's annoying. I guess I should back off. Yep. On falling to low health, uh, I... Oops. Alright. Freeze time for a little bit. Time to run away. Time to run away. Ow. Smart shopper, more money from uh, enemies. It's actually really good. It's one of the most useful items that you can possibly get. So I like it. It really does make loot way more affordable and way just better because of it. Like, your, your quality of life is just drastically improved. Though, of course, since so far I've done absolutely nothing in the way of searching this level for loot, I'm going to have a bad time. Then again, maybe not. Maybe it won't be so bad. Since all I have to do is run around in a circle and look for the loot. Guess I'll go this way. Rusty Blade, chance to uh, cause enemies to bleed when I hit them with a shot. Which just makes it so that I, um, they take some damage over time. Shield generator is not bad. I'm still going to buy random. Fire shield, if I take enough damage, I believe it's like 10% of my health at once. I uh, let out an explosion, which will damage enemies nearby enough for a decent amount. Goat hoof is a really big deal. Speed up is pretty huge. And this is as far over to this side as I need to go on this loop. It's just that otherwise it makes the loop... I mean, I'd have to do this either way. It doesn't really matter. But I felt like doing it this way first. Looping from the left probably would have made more sense, though. Because I, um... 
Oh, stop that. I actually want to fail. Uh, know that there's going to be a large chest. Wait, that's the other layout. Okay, we're fine. Doesn't matter on this particular layout. Uh, War Banner, if I level up, there's a circle, and in that circle I will do... I'll have a higher movement speed, attack speed, and health regeneration. Shattering Justice is pretty sweet. Uh, when I hit an enemy, it takes an armor reduction, stacks up to five times, for, and it's five armor reduction per uh, hit. So 25 armor reduction. So basically it's just this huge damage increase for me, as long as I can keep attacking an enemy. Or set of enemies. Because you see it takes a little bit to disappear. So there's another item for me, and some more money, which is even nicer. Mortar tube is when I hit with an attack, I have a chance to launch a mortar. It's just an arcing explosive, no big deal. 10% chance to just not get hit by an attack. That's pretty useful. But really, I can't fail shrines. I have the uh, snake eyes, and I'm like trying to get a chance. But it just doesn't happen. Blink too early. Okay. Keep searching. 12 minutes is my personal mark for fast enough on this level. I'm going to be close to that, but I'm not going to meet it. So I'm not entirely pleased, but I'm not displeased, because this still went really well. 8% health up. It's not a huge thing for me right now, but it's a thing. Ancient Scepter upgrades my fourth ability. So from uh, Huntress, it makes it so that it, um, it explodes into more things, more explosives than before. Don't know if it does more damage or has like a larger different explosion at the start, but it's more explosives once it explodes into explosives. So it's still good. What I'm getting at, it's useful. Lucky item so far. Having a pretty good time. Haven't even had to use Bustling Fungus, which is a good problem to have, or not to have, I guess. I don't know if it. I don't think that Ancient Scepter stacks with itself for any character. So that's pretty wild and unlucky, actually. I would have preferred pretty much any other red item. But it's cool. We're, uh. We in there, right? Okay. Twelve and a half minutes. Okay. So, what I prefer to do on the Sunken Tombs is check the top first, especially when your loop would take you such that you go to the right. Uh, so, check the top first, and then loop from going below here. But like I said, check the top first, because of this. Okay, we've got a Vagrant. This is also where we're likely to find our first Blight. Okay, so let's increase our damage and attack speed. And just try to try to be good. Okay, so this is the one with the upper area. No big deal. Double vagrants, nice. Two items. Easy boss. Definitely gonna try not to get uh, wrecked by this. All right. I mean, I do have the. Um, thing. Uh, I have the Ancient Scepter. That's the one. I, I was talking about Shattering Justice in my head, though. So it's good to get use out of it. Nice. Everything started bleeding there because they all got hit by the same attack. Uh, single attacks have bleed chances rather than um, single hits. Okay, one thing dead. Sorry, I need to Pause, because my nose is about to kill itself from itch. Alright. Akron's worth like a bajillion dollars, which is why I wanted to kill him. So I just wanted to make sure to get that done. Panic Vines is if I take enough damage. Uh, same threshold, I believe. It says at low health it's lying, by the way. 
Uh, if I take enough damage, I'll drop a Panic Mine, and that'll explode when something gets on it. Good damage. So now when something hits me, enemies nearby will get feared, so they'll run away from me rather than towards me. Okay, so we're about to kill that. Attack speed up by 15%. Wonderful. Okay, Acrid is the one currently as the health bar. We haven't run into a Blight yet. 22 minutes is my goal for this floor. This level, whatever, man. Okay, Acrid's dead. Like I said, worth a bunch of money. That's really the reason we kill him, or the reason I kill him. I'll be able to comfortably clear out this floor from loot. I don't know how much damage the mortar does relative to me, but it's a pretty fair some chunk. Barely used my use item after the first couple of times. My fault. It's pretty poor play overall. Usually there's something up here as far as loot's concerned, but it doesn't have to be, as we can see. But pretty conveniently, everything uh, worked out as far as enemy locations and teleporter location and stuff. Made fantastic time here. I already have that item. Eh, I'll take the 8% health up, though. I was hoping to get the crit specs. 10% chance to do uh, twice my damage. Which is pretty nice. So now let's loop around. Take another bustling fungus. This stacks healing amount, by the way. Not healing rate. This might be the closed one, I'm not even sure anymore. Yeah. Head stompers, if I fall from enough of a height, I will deal damage to enemies, and I can also uh, proc my special on hit items, which is pretty cool. Oops. So it's faster to climb down these than to fall, as it turns out. So I just make sure to do that. Then make this jump, convenient. I think that that just um, makes it so that it recharges faster and can be used again the second time Keeper Secret. Because it recharges after a while. I think that just makes that while a little bit shorter. So let's... There's only one more thing. Yeah, there's only one more chest here. So I'm going to get a ton of experience out of all this money I have. Like I said, Smart Chopper is pretty nice. Another Fire Shield? I don't know exactly what it stacks for, but... You know, we're doing well. I'm gonna pause to take a drink of water as we uh, hit this. So, just a second, sorry. All right. Throat was just giving me a tough time there, so I decided I should give it some something to soothe it. Freaking Magma Barracks. I'm here really early. Which is good, at least. I want to check over here for the teleporter, as unlikely as it is. Oh my god, the teleporter luck right now. Show me not a cremator. Okay. Well, we can't win everything. So this is probably the end of the run. That's how ridiculously stupid the cremator is. I hate this boss. I hate the cremator so much. Cremator is like the single biggest run ruiner in my life. Because the cremator is like the single hardest thing to deal with. Ever.
And there's just all these enemies down here, and what am I supposed to freaking do about this? Besides, get out of here. Oh my god. Get out of here and hope. It's really dumb. Cremator is such a jerk. But I just need to stay in motion and hope for the best. Stay away from bighorn bisons. Sorry, I believe bison is the plural of bison, isn't it? That could be my mistake. I hate that you can teleport, dude. Oops, I'm stuck. This is bad. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Alright, I guess I should... <sighs> Freaking bighorn bison with its infinite teleporting range. Get out of here, you scumbag jerkbag. Oh my god. Oh my god, leeching seed. Now whenever I hit an enemy, I regain some health. Oops, that's not good. I'm dead. That is such garbage. That's like actually just complete garbage, and I hate that that can happen. Cremator is just a run ruiner, and I really don't like that. But we'll go again. Born fruit. Heals me for 50% of my health. Would have been pretty useful back then in that uh, other time. I mean, I could have taken the massive leech. But I don't plan for cremators, because they're really... <sighs> they're just not that likely. Cremators do not happen as often as they do for me. But the cremator is just unreasonably difficult in my opinion. I had a fantastic run that couldn't have been stopped by anything but the cremator there. And the cremator stopped it easily. Definitely want the mirror. That is like the item. I expect that the teleporter's up top on the left, so I'm wasting time being over here. But, gotta have faith, man. Gotta have faith. Sticky Bomb's a great item for uh, Huntress. Each time you land a hit, there's a chance that it will uh, stick a bomb to an enemy. Since we have... Um, Glaive, we can easily stick in a, stick a bomb to enemies, because each of its hits will have its own independent chance to do so. So as I expected, the teleporter is where I expected the teleporter to be. So it sucks to be me, because that means I have to do an obscene amount of backtracking. I was making such good time last run, too. I'm going to have to do an obscene amount of backtracking in order to uh, get all of the loot that I desire on this uh, particular run. Alright. Okay. At least it's kind of close. So that's good. Colossus, where did you spawn? Please tell me you spawned down here. You shouldn't have, but please tell me it did. It didn't. Not even worth checking the rest of over there. I already got the loot. I'm only down here for other loot. So, uh, you know. So the Shattered Mirror makes a clone of you that just doubles all of your attacks, so pretty much it's double damage output for a little while, and it's pretty nice. Lasts, what, 15 seconds? Something crazy like that. It's really good. Ooh. 
Yeah, right. Filial imprinting is a little dude that'll drop some buffs for me every so often. He drops an attack speed buff, a healing buff, and a movement speed buff. The health, uh, the healing buff is the one I picked up there. Heals me um, a few times for not the bad amount of health. All right, guess I'll have two filial imprintings then. So I'll just get more buffs. I really, I don't like filial imprinting only because you see it in, it's kind of like the worst green item to me in a lot of situations. Like if I had seen three rusty jetpacks, I'd have been happier than two filial imprintings and one rusty jetpack or two rusty jetpacks and one filial imprinting. I honestly would have preferred not getting the filials. Okay, I'm not losing to this jerk right here. Wait, what? Two? Where did they go? They weren't there. That's... what? What? I didn't get my item for that. All right, so now I have to run all the way back to the top. That'll be no big deal. I feel like today I'm just getting exceedingly unlucky with that particular enemy. That's where you spawned? Okay. You know, if you say so, I'm not gonna say no to that. I mean, at least that's convenient for where my loot's located. Okay. Got a speed buff by accident. It's short, but it's so much speed that it's like, doesn't even matter that it's short. Colossal Neural. What a good item. Oh, I want to get the loot over here first. So that's uh, health up, armor up, and health regeneration up. It's a good item. Alright, where are you? What brought you there? So as you might notice, I'm vastly behind schedule right now. Pretty, pretty big gap, and not as strong a run. So I'm not too happy about that. But otherwise, I guess I'm in good shape. Items aren't bad. They're not great, though. Last run was better. Meat Nugget is, like, a terrible item, pretty much. When you hit an enemy, it causes it to drop some things that heal things, but you don't really find yourself picking them up very often. And it only happens like once per enemy. It's not a lot of healing either. It's just not very good in any way, I find. All right, let's pick up some, some of the same items as before. All right. So we're out of here eight minutes in. That's not very good. So we'll see how this goes. Probably not too well, like I said. I expected Sky Meadow just because that would be the worst luck of the two, I would say. I would much rather fight mushrooms to uh, children and I guess parents as well. Oh, this is the one without the rope, okay. Go this way, oh hello. 
Oops, I didn't mean to blink that way. I meant to blink the other way. Okay. Teleporter's almost always over here. It's not true at all. That's like a complete falsehood. And there's nothing true about what I just said. But this time it is. Now I'll fight like 69 million parents. This is what I hate. When crowds are not inconvenient layouts. Fortunately, the uh, Shattered Mirror destroys this Magworm, like, so hard. Sadly, my Shattered Mirror is all used up for now. Like I said, I need to keep the... cluster all as one. I'm so dead right now. Another nice thing is that the um, Sticky Bomb hits as an AoE. It'll hit everything there. Should be fine, should be fine. Not for long though. Why did you shoot that way, you scum? All right, get out, leave right now. It's the end of you and me. Too late and I can't wait for you to be gone. I healed a lot more than I expect to there. Ooh, speed buff. Hello. That was bad. Wish I had a monster tooth or something. Not invited. 80 health left. No big deal. Can't hit you. Didn't want to. Timekeeper's secret. Really another troll green item. Like, without a doubt, that is a troll green item. Alright, let's get some health back. Just wait this out. Oh, okay. That's fine. This will work out fine. Oh, I missed. I meant to actually play this. That's actually not a bad item. Pretty much a panic mine except it poisons enemies. So, if I take enough damage, that'll happen. So the only chest I saw was the one just below, so I can buy this again. See if it turns out nicely for me. It didn't. Ah oh well. I can even afford to try yet again. So I guess that's my next plan. No. I know it would have saved me last run. Still no. Alrighty. 23 enemies. Most of them are those children right there. Nice little AoE going on. No problem. See? Easy peasy. Oh, I missed a... Okay, that's just something that'll come back at me.
Quality. Alright. Grab this. Shield generator. Not bad. Not what I want, though. Ah, there we go. Predatory instincts. Fantastic. If I get a crit, uh, my attack speed will increase up to three times. And uh, consecutive predatory instincts. They'll make you get multiple crit stacks per one at once, like multiple uh, attack speed ups at one time, apparently, which would make sense to me. So then at three, you would get the full effect immediately. But apparently, uh, it increases the attack speed up you get, I think, maybe, someone was saying. Definitely a crit chance increase, though, which is good. So this is all we're getting out of this, I guess. Behind schedule, but not as much as I would have expected to be. Okay, sunken tombs again. Okay, so we spawn on this side. Teleporter's not going to be over here. Almost could have seen the whole thing. Crazy. So like I said, I like to check the top first. Unlikely or not. And then we end up at the top. We handle the entire top. And it's really just fantastic to go that way. And then we can do the simple loop around on the bottom. So many more enemies spawned than last time. Because I was at such a good pace last time and I'm not this time. My pace is very mediocre. Oop, don't do that. That healing's good stuff, though. Guardian's Heart, now that's fantastic. Gives me a shield of 60, and uh, nothing can do damage to me until the shield is completely depleted. So even if something does 70 damage to me, and I only have one shield left, like one out of 60, I will take one damage and not anymore, because the shield hasn't been broken. So it's very good. Alright, just getting them war banners uh, all over the place. Ugh, I hate, again, breaking the cluster. Don't break the cluster. The cluster is the very sacred form of being. It's like its own plane of existence, and you're just not respecting that. Do you understand that you're not respecting the cluster? And that the cluster is, once again, a very sacred thing. You know, man... Here we go. Alright, well that'll teach you not to respect the cluster, man. Okay, so I apparently already finished that. But I have all the loot in the level to buy. Concussion grenade chance to stun enemies like it says, they just won't be able to attack for a little bit. Alright, so let's go on and do my right loop. So this layout does have the open uh, bottom, but doesn't have the chest accessible. Though it's still there. That was a recent thing where they put the chest there that you can't access, but yeah, it's cool. Alright, items we've seen. No biggie. So can't get that chest much as I'd like to. Nothing up there. Well, I guess I should get the container. Could contain something good in it. Or just money, which is also, you know, useful. 
Energy cell. Attack faster at lower health. Another troll green item. I feel like green is a troll tier. Another war banner just uh, increases the size of any war banners that spawn after that point. That's good. All right, what do we have? Any more? We still made good time here. Because again, the cluster was mostly respected enough that I could deal with it. Well, let's get on. All right. Really, 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 really. You had best contain a not cremator, which is a toxic beast, by the way. Toxic beast is officially known as not cremator. All right. I legitimately want like a special exception coded where if a toxic beast spawns on this map, it's called like the, the health bar says not cremator. Because that would make my life pretty happy. That would just make everything sound so much better. Like, you know, at least it's not cremator. Ow. Alright, now with this item, crits will heal me. So if I land a crit, I get health back. It starts at like 10, so it's pretty good. Maybe it's 8. Uh, either way, it's some healing and that's really useful. 6. Whatever, that's fine too. Alright, so let's go on the hunt. Well, I should check up here just to be sure. Dude, I am so lucky with these spawns right now. Toxic Beast. Thank you. I'm not happy with all these bighorn bison though. Like that is pretty terrible. Cause this sounds like one shot city. All right, I just have to hope for a lot of crits basically. Which isn't going badly. And I just want to kill the toxic beast is handled. Now I really want this item. Every time an enemy dies, uh, I'll get a charge field around me and it'll grow each time an enemy dies. It lasts for six seconds unless you kill an enemy within that time. And it does a fraction of your damage. A pretty good one. Okay, I need to leave now. Goodbye. Alright, so this level's usually pretty barren for loot. But it's not the worst. really not the loot I wanted. I will say that. You always gotta be Bighorn Bison. Is that, like, a thing that has to happen? Or is that just a thing that, like, you think it's funny? Another Guardian's Heart, just 60 more on that shield. Meaning, basically, it'll take another hit pretty easily, and comfortably, and happily, <clears throat> and I will appreciate it from it. These mechanical spiders are actually being really cooperative and dying. Seems they don't have uh, as much to stand up against me with as they usually do. Okay, uh, we're, we're good. Don't worry about me. Gasoline's actually a fantastic item. Kill an enemy and it um, sets the ground on fire there. Which will do damage to any enemies that are there, uh, that like go over that. Dodge chance, pretty good. Oh, did my bighorn bison buddy despawn? No, why would I ever hope for that? That's a stupid thing to hope. Uh, 
All right. Wasn't worth it, but I... Whatever. Cool, man. We'll see how much money I have after killing all these dudes, and then I'll look for some chests. You know, it's not like they don't exist. But with this many shrines, I wouldn't expect very many chests. But we'll see. All right, bighorn bison. All right. Thank you, uh, gasoline, and thank you now, uh, hermit scarf. Let's look for loot with our thousand dollars. That's not so bad. Rudely drawn buddy. How about no thank you? Don't want that too much. Oh, darn. Specs. There we go. Alright, I can't afford that right now. I'll be able to after uh, killing this dude, though. I don't think it's worth using the um, use item for this. The backup's actually really, really good. However, I'm not going to take the backup. Uh, that spawns four drones that attack like all enemies in a row at once. So they are insane crowd control. They just melt groups of enemies. And it's pretty glorious. But uh, I'm focusing on my single target DPS in this, doubling my damage. Backup's probably better, I would say. Like, probably it would do better for me. Okay, so we got this Temple of the Elders. Which means... Yeah, there is a golden chest. Chances are I can't get to it. This run doesn't deserve to be here as much as the last run did. Which is what I don't like about the cremator. Like, there's... I shouldn't be here. This run's kind of weak. Okay, so we've got a Blight. He can pretty much wreck my life, if he so chooses. But I'm gonna let him chase me down, because I want to hang out with him. Because he's worth a ton of money, so if I kill him really quickly, I'll be a very happy man. So I got a bunch of money for that, which like I said was the goal. So now I can start buying loot. There's another Blighted Clay Man apparently. Oh, that's a fantastic item. Small chance of uh, elite enemies dropping items. So that's pretty good. And I'm just clearing the tower top to bottom, I guess. Uh, can you come up here, Blight? I just want to hang out. I do. I really do. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I made it clear enough, but my dislike for um, having filial imprintings is completely unjustified. Because it's a really fantastic item. I don't know, I feel like I didn't make that very clear. Okay. Frame rate decided it didn't like me very much for a second. Okay. Tesla coil, pretty good. Makes it so the nearby enemies get electrocuted. And it's... it, As you could see there by the large um, shock, it, it spreads to enemies. Alright, I want to kill this other blight as well, because... You know, 
lights her. Very good to kill. Nice attack speed buff, and it got a double item from him because of um, him counting as an elite as well as a boss, so he's guaranteed to drop an item, but he also has the chance to drop an item from the clover. It's crazy good. And I got good items nonetheless. That's a big one. I'm gonna come up here. I'd like to fight you, Blight Buddy. I'm spending altogether too much time farming this, but... It's too worth it, man. It's too worth it. Uh, so far, so good still. Seems like the blight fell. Happiest mask. Every time I kill an enemy, it spawns a ghost that will help me attack. That's pretty amazing. That doesn't work on all enemies, but a lot of enemies, and those ghosts are good. Okay, while I have the time, get out. Go elsewhere. Alright, seems that I've been called upon. Another Blight. Oh, come back. I miss you. I miss you. Alright, let's get the attack speed buff. Of course, my s uh, stupidly high attack rate is actually just from um, crit, crit hits uh, and my pair of predatory instincts. That's the item. So basically, that's a great item, too. If that wasn't obvious. Another crowbar increases the threshold with which you do the extra damage. That's pretty amazing. Alright, so archer bugs. Not my favorite guys. Oh, there's my blight buddy. Welcome back to the party. Nice, more speed up. Check down here for loot. I don't think there is any, but I like checking. So there's nothing else here. Blighted Clayman, come at me. I want to fight you. Badly. Though I already have $11,000, so it's... I mean, it's an item, though. Barbed wire damages nearby enemies within a circle that you can now see around me. Uh, that does some amount of my base attack. It's very good as well, if you have enough of them. Alright, stay away from me. You can do a lot of damage to me. Alright. While I'm still doubled, I want to make sure to get some DPS out. That's a worthwhile thing to do. Deal some damage while you got it. Okay, so I did get the Shrine Glitch active. It does still exist, evidently. That's pretty cool. I don't have any... I have two Bustling Fungus. Okay, so I can Shrine Glitch to my heart's content. Get all the items I want. I'll probably get a few. I don't have Snake Eyes, sadly. Otherwise, I'd definitely get to uh, max crit from that. But I just don't have it. That's not even an option. I don't have any way to get all the way up there to get the um, golden chest, much as I'd like to. So the shrine glitch um, is just using a health shrine as um, as the teleporter is activated with a very tight window. So with a spawn like that, you got to go for it. 
and uh, it just prevents the shrine from breaking when you activate the teleporter, because health, health shrines are supposed to disappear when you activate the teleporter. Otherwise, you'd be able to abuse them. You'd be able to just keep going at them at no risk, because there are no enemies or anything, and you've got all the time for the health regeneration. But uh, that prevents that from happening, and allows you to keep going infinitely, get as many items as you want. Okay, let's not do that. I just wanted to cause some chaos. Was it worth it? Maybe. Alright, let's uh, shoot from here. That's a little intense. My health isn't doing badly. It's really not. 17 enemies remain. Excuse me, I don't remember asking you. Okay, let's grab these chests. I don't have enough jumps to get all the way up there. Reduce the cooldown of used items is a really good golden gun. Increases my damage based on how much money I have. That's the bar that appeared to the left of me, the golden bar. So that's pretty useful as well. Good item. Alright. So the thing about percentage health shrines that makes them good for... Um... Oh, there it is. That makes them good for shrine glitching is that they only they cap at 99% of your health, so you can always keep using them. There's nothing that will ever stop you. And that is wonderful. Let's see if this one was too late or not. It might be too late. No, it doesn't seem to be too late. And since I have the bustling fungus, I can just sit here and do this. And you get two items for them. So, it's really worth the investment of time, basically. Like I said, it gets to 99, and then you are, uh, it's capped. I'm gonna get a bunch of items, because the game deserves this for having, um, or for what it did to me before. Oops. It shouldn't kill me. So the more snake eyes I get, the better the crit increase is, I believe. I'm not sure if they stack linearly. Probably. So I'd love to get a six stack, but that's pretty unlikely. It does happen. It's two. If I get a six stack, I'll leave. <laughs> but I have so many uh, snake eyes now that it doesn't even matter. Get a two stack and I'm probably set. More clovers. So now we know for sure the shrine glitch still works. And it's still plenty abusable. We're going to keep going for I don't even know how long at this point. Oh, the wisp. Fantastic. When killing an enemy, there's a chance it'll explode and just damage the enemies near it. Let's see what our first red is, at least. Be fine. It's only like 10 damage. By the way, I don't believe you can use the shrine until you have enough health, so it won't kill you. But this one is precarious, so if I go low enough, it could just kill me. Alright, but that one lets me grab the right item, so I guess I'll just sit here until it doesn't matter anymore. Until I'm done, ready to go. Rusty blades increase the chance, I believe, of the bleed, and maybe as much, though, so possible. 
Maybe the damage that is. Show me something good though. One. Okay. Barbed wires uh, increase the size of the barbed wire. I don't know how long I'm going to sit here. Probably not too long, like no more than 10 minutes. One. Uh, they might also increase the damage of the barbed wire, probably. Yeah, they totally do. Two. If I get a four stack, I'll leave. Not three. Monster Tea is fantastic. On kill, it gives me 10 healing. That's really good. Something I would have liked a, like all through last run, all through the rest of this run. You know, so that's one, I believe. Eh, well, it doesn't matter now. Harvester Scythe uh, further increases the crit chance and healing. Okay, well, you're doing this to yourself. Oh, right! Forgot about these dudes. Doesn't really matter, though. Imp Overlord Tentacle. <laughs> Stacks for armor reduction. Or armor increase, sorry. So lots of damage reduction for me. Uh, each monster tooth after the first stacks for 5 healing rather than um, 10, but it's still really good. <sighs> that makes farming interesting. I could go for longer then, since it gives me a break each time every so often. Come on, show me a red. The tentacle um, spawns that imp, though. Which will do uh, attacking for us, and sometimes it spawns as an elite, which will cause enemies to drop money, or um, it does something else to them. I don't remember. It breaks, though, because it respawns every minute in general. Mortar tubes increase the chance, not the damage, I believe. Uh, and it breaks, and it'll just stop attacking or moving, so it's really sadly not as good as it could be, because it's a cool item. One... Two. Oh wait, that's the first red. Sorry. Uh, also, cheat death once. I don't believe it stacks. If you have two, you still only get one respawn. If you die, though, it makes it so that you respawn at 40% um, health. There we go. So... That's not the first red I was hoping for. So now I guess I'm going for like a three stack. That's one. No! The attack speed, it's gone. I couldn't grab it in time because it wasn't grabbable yet. It's fine. That just stacks my attack speed. Good stuff. It's the second one I've gotten, I believe. It was an early item, wasn't it? Oh, I don't have any. Okay, that was last run. <laughs> the item recharged. Takes a while, but it does happen. Did that take me to one health? That doesn't make sense. 
Probably was 10. Eh, it's sub 10, that's weird. Well, I said like five more minutes. That was my initial estimate for time. So we can work with that. Dang, energy cell breaks in. That sucks. That was a good streak, I believe. One. Again, three stack and I'm good. All right. It's gonna be stacked for items. This is another reason it's good to farm on these, just because of how many, uh, how they give you two items at once, even if they're the same item. 8% health up, all right. <laughs> More snake eyes. I'm only gonna need a two stack, really. Oof, okay. When I kill an enemy, it'll shoot some things out that'll track other enemies down, do some damage. Second one just increases the number of uh, spirit bolts, as they call them. More damage reduction. I'm gonna be in a pretty good shape here. One. I'd still like a three stack, but I don't need one. Two. So can it give me the last one? It might happen. Okay, three stack, we're out of here. I'm gonna heal first, even though I don't think I need to. I think it will fully give me my health back as I go to the final level, but I'm happy. I got my three stack onto the final level. Everything's good. I got lots of good items out of that. All right, cool. We in there. Oops. Do this. All right, enemies. Your call when to spawn, there we go. My crits should be out of this world right now. I might be critting every hit just because of how many uh, snake eyes I have. I seem to be. That's pretty good. All right, I can still be killed. I just have a lot of healing on hit, so it's not as much of a worry. You know, being killed isn't the most likely thing I'll do. Even if I don't have, like, a ton of health or anything. Stuff's just kind of going pretty well. Okay, so let's grab some loot. Oops. Alright, I definitely want to stick with the Shattered Mirror. I just wanted to check this out. Don't really care to fight you. I only care to fight uh, as I'm at the area of the next uh, door. Dude, look at all that money. I only have two smart shoppers, and that's just like all the money. I don't have a problem with this. Ah, but Scavenger. More damage reduction, and I guess I shouldn't worry about my life. Fortunately, nothing's here that I can gamble on, like there's no shrine, so I'm not going to lose my chance. More Tesla Coil probably increases the damage. I don't think it increases like range or anything. Frequency, maybe? Another Rapid Mitosis, alright. Not going to complain. That's pretty wonderful, to be honest.
All right, let's see if there are any golden containers in here. Otherwise, I don't really care. Like, I'm not going to open all these containers. I will open the item chest. On hit, chance to fire a missile. Uh, yeah, that'll do like three times my damage or something like that. Pretty good. I wish I had a wicked ring right now. You know, or multiple. That'd be crazy. I would have so much ability to use my skills. Alright, so I've done the first two levels, time for the third. Another attack speed up's fantastic. 8% more health. Don't mind if I do. Two blights. That's pretty worthwhile to use my things on. Oh my gosh. Look at all those items. Permafrost is a chance to just freeze enemies on hit. Which is, uh, you know, pretty nice. Means they won't attack me or move or anything. Pretty good. So I'm going to go activate this second one up here as well, just for the sake of convenience. I'm not so inclined to take the drones, I just don't think I need them. And I want to do this alone now. I'm certainly doing enough damage. Certainly. These dudes do a lot of damage. So I guess I should actually treat them a little more respectfully. But with all my crits and healing because of the crits, it's just... And my attack speed increase, like, non-stop. It's pretty easy to stay alive. Four monster teeth, that's like 25 healing or something on kill. Yeah, 25. Pretty good. I've got a lot of stuff that'll tank my frame rate, which is fine. If you're unaware, this is where you unlock Handy. There is a golden container. No! Okay, never mind, not no. Alien Head's really good, and I definitely wanted it. But then I got a freaking Hyper Threader, and I was okay. Hyper Threader makes it so that I shoot a laser when I hit uh, an enemy. And that laser will track down some enemies and stuff itself. I'm going to see if I can get four key cards, or I'll at least get all of the available key cards. And uh, the laser does 40% damage. So it's just a nice damage up, basically, overall. I shouldn't have used my item there. Pretty senseless thing to do. Yeah, those track enemies down pretty strongly. Mysterious Vial increases my healing rate. Like my natural one all the time. Uh, I still haven't gone to the top. My bad. Let me handle that. Not sure how you all died so quickly, but you should work on that. Oh, I didn't go to the golden chest. I'll also do that. Back up again. Don't need it. Alright. By the way, Glaive with crits is crazy. Really, are you going to be that difficult to kill? Look at all the damage numbers that you get. <laughs> Head stompers. Again, I should be more respectful of my enemies. They can kill me. However, I, I don't really care. Alright, Blight, if you want to come, come here. If you want to fight, get at me. That's what I thought. 
Brady Cat. That costs me 9,500, no big deal. Dude, what's with all the timekeeper secrets? There's a hidden rope there. And then you jump up here and then good to go. Plasma chain, chance to tether an enemy, yeah. Basically when I hit an enemy, it might uh, put a chain to them, a plasma chain, that will damage them and any enemies between us. That's pretty quality. The golden chest is of course guaranteed to give you a red item. And even having spent that much, I'm still set on the golden gun. That is pretty sweet. Only one key card, which is pretty lame. So I'm, I'm a little sad there. If I only go to one place, I guess I go to the armory, though. Storage isn't bad. Oh yeah, arms race, because I have drones right now. But that does add missile launchers to drones. They'll shoot missiles and mortars. And overall be incredibly good. But you know, like I said, not after drones right now. Oh, hello. Oh, really fantastic use item right there. However, I'm quite happy with what I have. Go random. Okay. No one's dropped a key card either. I do want to fight the cluster that's going to appear here. So, I'm not leaving yet. <clears throat> I want to deal with this. Fun way. Just fighting it. Keep it up. Amp Overlord. Not gonna last very long, I wanna expect. Oh boy. This is good. Goodbye. Okay. I do have a handful of uh, clovers. Those stack up to seven, I believe. For a pretty decent chance of an item dropping. Hit list. Every so often it'll mark an enemy with a big X. If I kill that enemy while still marked, I gain a permanent damage increase of 0.5. Stacks 40 times for 20 damage. Now I have two key cards, which means I can get the two uh, best. I'll spend bunches of money on these. Usually these give offensive items, like ATG missiles. We even have another golden uh, chest. Which is pretty crazy. Hello Blight. Hello other Blight. Alright, more goat hooves. Hermit Scarf uh, stacks up to 30% at 5 or 6 scarves, I believe it is. Alright, more crit chance that I don't think I need. More chance to stick a bomb. 60 more health on the shield. Now it's at one, uh, 180. Alright. Alright, let's just blink out. <laughs> Take the shortcut. Uh, I'm lacking in key cards now, though. Oh, ow, Blight, dude. Chill. Alright, let's uh, kill some fools the uh, not gonna die way. Got my first damage up. Oh my god, another snake eyes. That's pretty insane. Hmm, do you want to give me any more key cards? Because I'd really appreciate it. Considering my stark lack of any at this point in time. Lighted Clayman somewhere. 
I just don't know where. I would fight him given the opportunity. Hey, there he is. Goodbye. Alright, I don't have any more key cards, that's for sure. I know that now. Fight me. Fight me. All right, kill the blight. Yep. I actually shouldn't be killing stuff through the door because if I do and they drop a key card, I might be out of luck because I don't know if I can get more than four key card drops at all. I don't know if key cards can like keep dropping as long as you don't have all of them or if it's once you see four, you are done. So I'll farm until I have like 100,000 and then I'm done whether or not I've gotten my key cards. Alright. That won't be very long now, will it? 100,000 was probably a bit of a short-sighted goal. Alright, though. It's not a big deal. Blighted Clay Man? You wanna fight? You wanna fight me? Because I'm about to hit 100,000 and I'd just like to know where you are. Ah, there it is. Oh, there's the Blight, though. I will kill him. Oh, both of them. I will kill both of them. Alright. Hold your syringe. Get out of here, then. I'm done. I have the Gauss Cannon, at least, that I probably won't need to use. Problem. Some things are doing like four damage, which is weird. That's what I thought I was seeing. But yeah, my damage is pretty insane. Oh hey, we're gonna have a fun buddy to fight. Forgot about you. It's cool that they still spawn in here. Ow. Sure, more barbed wire. All right, no big deal. This is his last shield session for this life, so I'm just not gonna worry about doubling until he's out of it. Gilded Worms probably will be here after I'm done being doubled. You know, then again, or they could just take all the damage in the world because they're really, really weak. Alright. Come on. There we Okay, you guys die really easily, apparently. And I'm okay with this. Okay, so for the... I guess I'm gonna use this for soon. How about now? Just so I can kill the shadow, the blight. Basically, that's blight in providence. And I just got a marked kill for it. Which is pretty silly. Wow, just because I'm shooting twice means I'm getting so much more out of things. I was still doubled there. Yep, that was pretty perfect then. Alright. 
Will we be able to use my item again? The real question. It's gonna be close. No, we didn't get to use it again. It wasn't worth using again, because we couldn't. That'll do it, though. Hmm. <clears throat> That's what the game gets when it disrespects me like that. Oh, that was just... Ugh, cremator. I hate the Cremator, man. But that was a fun run. A very fun run. We got quite powerful. And I enjoyed it. Right, can't pause there. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I'll skip the credits, see the score. Other than that, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.